Hi, R&B Reptiles here. Got another great video for you today. We're gonna go through all the stuff that we have available. Um, we have a bunch of really cool animals and they're really starting to put on some size. I know it's still a little cold to be shipping, but maybe if you guys are in the area or if we're going somewhere that you are, you guys will be interested in what we got to show. So stay tuned. Yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna show you um, what we have left for 2019 for sale. Uh, we had a very mild winter, so we feel like, you know, as long as we pay attention, we can get it shipped out to you safely. But first I wanna say thank you to all of the people that have generously donated to buy us a coffee. Um, it's really awesome of you guys. We have the link down below if you wanna be involved with that. It's, uh, if you like the channel, you can give us three bucks to say thanks, and we thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. Also to all of our Patreon supporters, you guys are great. We're gonna actually start doing uh, where you can sponsor an animal if you want. So it'll be your animal for the month. Um, so thanks. We're gonna scroll those names by right at the end. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by <laughs> Super Coffee. So I'm gonna be real gentle with these because they just ate yesterday. Set this guy up here. And it's a good looking animal. This right here. <clears throat> we have a male firefly enchi yellow belly. Boy, look at these orange flames. That head stamp is ridiculous. Whoa! Don't jump off the table. <laughs> it's a good eater. Just the way <laughs> and it's still trying to eat Ryan. What in the heck is going on here? All right, I'll hold it. <laughs> I wanted to show you the belly. Look at that. Wow. It's a good looking animal. So this guy's good to go, has plenty of meals. Okay, here we got a, man, the ornery. We have a male Inferno, which is a pastel hidden gene woman yellow belly. It's super compressed, busy pattern. Awesome looking animal. You know we love hidden gene woma stuff here. Look at all these little curly cues. Man. Very cool. Alright, here we have a female enchi. It's a very nice high expression enchi. Lots of oranges. Beautiful pattern. Eating well. So female and she. If we didn't have so many holdbacks this year, we'd probably be keeping her. Yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily care if we keep all the females. Like, <laughs> they can stay, they can sell, whatever. We have this beautiful male Enchi orange dream. Look at those sides. It's so orange. We're actually kind of torn between it being an Enchi OD or a Super OD. Um, Cause this is really like the oranges on the sides are crazy. Very nice blushing. The head and the eye stripes. Back of the neck and a little bit of the pattern make me think it's the NGOD. So it's cool. Two very nice cleanup jeans. Here we have a male pastel enchi clown. Look at that beautiful head. They got that little dot on the side there. Looks real cool. I love this animal. I wish it was a female. It would be staying. I do have a couple females and they are staying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wish there were more. <laughs> it's our first clowns we ever produced. I'll show you these two at the same time since it's the same animal. It's not gonna mix them up. These two are two male butter scaleless heads. Very pretty. It's also possible Enchi 
And there is quite the difference between the two in the color and pattern, but I'm not comfortable calling it, unfortunately, because we find that the scaleless head almost acts a little bit like the Enchi, where it cleans up the pattern a lot, so, and also brightens, so it's hard to tell for us. So we'll just say that it could be Enchi in one of them, but for right now, it's just butter scaleless head now. This is a very pretty pastel yellow belly. Come on, relax a little. I know it's hard for you. Look at those flames. So, this an awesome animal. I think they're all awesome. I may be biased. Here we have a female scaleless head it's very cool wouldn't it be bad to pair this up with one of those males you can see what i mean when you the the way the scaleless head sort of like tightens up the pattern makes it nice and crisp and bright and reduces it a little bit so that's why i have a little bit of a hard time <clears throat> when it comes to enchi in it but it's a good looking female scaleless head Here we have a pastel Enchi male. And we could put that next to. Uh, make sure it doesn't run away, man. I don't video it. Running away. You see the difference between the two? So this is way cleaner and brighter. So pastel Enchi, I believe, and pastel, or not pastel, Enchi OD. Possible Super OD. Okay. Last one. is an orange dream firefly male super bright very beautiful all these guys you'll find on our morph market which will be linked down in the description and if you want to see another list this list <laughs> It's on there with pricing and feel free to reach out when you talk about things and maybe we can find the right snake for you. I know you guys saw in a previous video that they were making a lot of noises. They were waking up. So we went through our northerns. Our easterns are still starting to wake up now, um, but we moved up some baby northerns into the bigger bins for right now until we finish our enclosures. So I'm going to show you guys the, the bins and the setups that we got. Uh, we start them off, we're putting everything on paper for a little bit, which we're just about done with. So they are making a ton of noise because they have a, a lot more space than they did. It's one of our dark ones, dark babies. <laughs> Good sorry. Oh, do you want it to try to bite you? No. I just <laughs> want to be able to get it in the shot before it runs off. So I can hold them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is one of our dark babies. You can see how awesome the brightness is here in between, but how really, really dark the pattern is between the bright spots. It's just a beautiful animal. This is one that we produced this year. Here's another one of our dark ones. This one's even darker. This is the one that was trying to bite Ryan earlier. I love that one. It's so beautiful. This one's so dark. Oh, I know. Hey, hey, hey. It's hard to keep track of. I hope you guys can, if the camera's picking up how bright. It's pretty it's bright in here. A pretty good job of it. But then 
in between it's so, so dark. Also one of the dark ones we picked up. No, we produced. I mean produced. The dark ones we produced. Come along. Another baby. This one's Nipsey. It's Nipsey. See, her tail is coming back. He or she. He or she. I'm thinking it's a female, but still has a really cool light pattern there. It's very pretty, but also the tail, you can tell, is growing back. She was born with that little nip. It's probably about down to here. Um, I guess either a sibling or her mother nipped off the end of her tail um, when she was born, but it's growing back. She's looking pretty, having a good time. So, oh, I know. You want to jump out of my hands? You want to? You want to climb up and attack me? They are so cool. Blue tongue skinks are great. And let's show the one we got from Diana last year. We haven't shown that one yet. It's right over here. This one? Uh, this one? That one. All right. Just shed. Or is shedding? Just shed. Right is shedding. So this is the one we got from Diana Mason. So from her dark line, you can see how white the sides are and then how ridiculously dark the back pattern is. At some point so, when our dark line is big enough, we hope to be able to cross these two guys together. Yeah, and see how they make out, but man. She's pretty, she's big enough. We think it's a female anyway. Looks female to me. How we tell is the shape of the head and the hips and length of tail. Though maybe, um, yeah, the I length mean, of the tail is kind of long. long. That, male, that tail looks tail's long. Long and skinny. But the hips here, wow, okay, okay, okay. Just waking up, so not just feet everywhere. I feet all over me, of course. That's how it goes. I love that kind of <laughs> stuff. Does, <laughs> doesn't like to be messed with because it's uh, just waking up. So yeah, so those are our baby skinks that we moved over and one of the adults. But hopefully they'll be all be breeding soon. Thanks so much guys for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed seeing what we have left for sale and a sneak preview of our baby skinks from last year that are just out of brumation. Uh, thank you once again to our Buy a Coffee supporters and also our Patreon supporters. We appreciate it. Stay tuned to the end where you can see your names running across the bottom of the screen. And, uh, you know, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. That really helps us out. And we'll see you next week. R&B Reptiles here, and we got another video for you today. And uh, yeah, so uh, I, I realize I look at you a lot. You don't need to do that anymore. Right. We're both here, we know it. Mm -hmm. We've soul bonded. I can bond. <laughs> so stay tuned. Yeah. You're great in that one. Thank you. That was like a huge. <laughs> <laughs> And I just wanted to show them to you guys to go. So this is a, hang on. So I just want to show you, I'm not going to show that one. It's all like, hey you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. We really appreciate you tuning in every week, twice a week. We really appreciate you tuning in every day.